License and registration, please. You're going too fast on this SAP highway. Gonna need to pull over. Hey guys, it's Mike Taylor, AKA Battleship Cobra. Today we're gonna do a short video, tips and tricks on Query Manager. Before we begin, I would strongly recommend that you visit battleshipcobra.com and check out my crystal reports for SAP Business One and my SQL for SAP Business One Course Two. I make weekly videos on Mondays at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, and I hope you check them out. As well as my weekly videos, I have lots of other videos. Just click my tab for videos in my channel and check out all my other videos and playlists. You just watching my videos actually really helps me. So if you wanna just check out the video, watch a few, leave them playing in the background, that actually helps me too. If you are just checking them out, make sure you watch them all. So today we're gonna to cover the query manager and SQL queries in general. Obviously I have a full course on that. You could take the course, the course goes into much more detail. I'm just gonna cover kind of what queries are and some tips and tricks about the query manager, things you might not have seen before. So let's get started. So what is a query? Well, let's take a look. Under normal circumstances, you're gonna to click to this query manager. Then I have one here that I've made called raw business partner export, double click it. So a query technically is this code here. And this code here will give you all of the information you need in order to get the basic uh, BP information. So you can see here, I only took the top 10, but um, you can go through and you can see it has payment terms, BP currency, the price list they use, the sales rep, Preferred transportation, blah, blah, blah. Build to address, that's default. Ship to address, that's default. Sales from previous years. And this is really good. You can even open uh, business partners right from here. So I can click it and go to Battleship Cobra. Look around, see the data. The nice thing about this stuff is you can really use it to export to Excel. So one tip here is to right click, select copy table. You might be used to clicking this export from MSX, MS Excel. I never do that anymore. Just right click, copy table, go to your Excel. Excel. Once you're in Excel, you just click in a cell and paste it. So now you can see you have all these table or all these cells and everything has been exported. You can even run a query directly from Excel to pull this information. So, uh, it's not that I hate Excel, it's that normally you can do most of what you're gonna do in SAP, but if you need to export something to Excel, uh, queries are probably the easiest way to do it. So this is the end result of a query. A query is basically a bunch of code written in SQL or HANA SQL. You execute it and then it pulls information from tables. Basically any type of information you wanna pull, you can pull and then you can export it to Excel or whatever, you can use this just as its own information, just to pull information to do analysis, you can uh, do whatever you need. It's kind of a raw table of information. So how do you uh, create these guys? So the first step in doing this is turn on view and system information. You need that on there in order to see anything. I'm gonna go to a first business partner and show you here. Of course, it's me. And then you can hold your mouse over any one of these fields and it'll tell you because you have system information on. So you hold it over the name, you look in the bottom left corner, you see Battleship Cobra Form 134, Item 7, blah, 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 blah. at the end you'll see OCRD, comma, card name. So OCRD is the table that this uh, object belongs to. So that's the header table. So most things that you're gonna look at, you can get an idea of what table they come from. So OCRD. Now that you know the table, you can start your query generator, tools, queries, query generator. You can pull this, uh, pull a list of all the tables in the database, tab, and you can just see here, lots of tables, right? But you already know which one you want. So you can type in OCRD, you have it there. You can look through this information, so you have that. Cancel this, you can just type it in here, OCRD tab. And now you see the table and you see most fields, okay? 
Some fields are hidden from here, so it's kind of annoying. If you're really doing some deep dives, uh, you might actually need to do it in MSSQL uh, Manager. I'm not going to do that in this one. This is just really basic. So once you have your OCRD in there, you're going to see a lot of these fields, 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 fields. Again, you can look here and do this, or you can just uh, run it. So you a little trick here, you go top one star, execute. And you're going to see here all the raw, uh, yeah, well, first you're going to see the query code, select top one star from OCRD. Then you're going to see the top one and all the fields that it's going to show you in the generator. So you can scroll over, lots of fields, okay? You can write all this stuff manually too. So if you ever find a query in like the forum, you know, once you've clicked, you could basically go here, click gen execute, it'll give you an error, but this is really the only way to get to a blank form. So you could just like select your stuff here, la la la. Type it in there, paste it in there from the forum, click execute and it'll execute there. So that's how you do that. So let's go back to OCRD. <clears throat> You can look at the query generator here and you can see these bold tables here, these bold fields, sorry. The bold fields mean that they're foreign keys to another table. So you can look at like, let's go SLP code. Left click and hold, drag it over to the side and then you have OSLP there. So you know that's the table and nice thing is in the from uh, from clause here, it'll give you the actual joins that you need to use to join those two tables. So it's really neat. And now you can pull you can pull information. So you can go card code, card name, OSLP, and then get the salesperson related to that customer. Very, very nice and easy. So the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna actually run this and then we're gonna save it into our query manager. So I'm just gonna say, give me, just give me the top 10. Execute. I got the top 10 here. I have the code, the full query. I'm gonna go save as general. Then I'm just gonna call this YouTube example. It's pretty useless to tell you the truth, but um, I'll include my raw BP data export query in the description below. So at least you'll get a good query out of this. Save. If you need to run this again, close. You go back to Query Manager, General, YouTube Example, boom, you have this again. So you can do repeatable things. You could do uh, prompts for parameters, for dates and things. Uh, you can do all sorts of neat stuff with sort procedures, views, basically whatever you can think to pull your data, you can pull it out in a table like this. If you need more complicated formatting, you might need crystal reports. If you want uh, KPIs or dashboards, you might go with the dashboards, but pure data, nothing's going to beat your SQL queries. Now I need to mention this because I love B1UP that, you know, running it through the query generator is all good, but there's a lot of drawbacks to it. Um, if you do too complex of a query, you won't get these golden arrows. They'll just disappear. You can't do totals. There's a whole bunch of other different things. One of the primary things is you have to run native SQL queries out of the SQL manager or the query manager. But with B1UP, you could put them right into the menu structure. So if I go there, sales, sales reports, SQL sales analysis. This is a really nice uh, sales survey parameter box. You can define your own custom dates. So I can say start date to today, click OK. You're gonna see here that you have grouping by customer, you have uh, customer code information here, you can have credits and invoices in the same column with your own manually controlled working golden arrows. You can have column totals, you can have refresh buttons, you can have all sorts of amazing things uh, right in your main menu. You don't have to run it through your query manager. This is just one of the great benefits of having V1 up. So I had to mention that you can't do this out of SAP natively. That's it for today. I just wanted to give you a couple little tips and tricks. So right click copy table, how to find your fields, how to use foreign keys 
If you look around in my videos, you're gonna find other videos about SQL, but also you can go to www.battleshipcobra.com. I have an SQL for SAP Business One course. I go through everything in much more detail with lots of examples and tons of information where you can just start from scratch and you can learn a lot of different things, learn a lot of different queries, save yourself some money as a customer, learn more as a consultant. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video if you can. Join the notification squad by clicking that bell, especially if you don't come to YouTube all the time. I make weekly videos on Mondays at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Don't forget to check out my other videos. Thank you guys so much. Talk to you next time.